I come to you after like two months of not uploading with my head hanging low, bearing some unfortunate news. And that unfortunate news is that I may or may not have gotten myself into a bit of a pickle yet again. Pretty much immediately after I uploaded my Monster with 21 Faces video, my life kind of got very stressful all of a sudden, and that resulted in uh, one of the worst waves of depression I have had in years. I tried writing a script for a video, it was just impossible, I couldn't get words on the page. I filmed the video, it was like pulling teeth, um, I tried editing it, it was just impossible, I couldn't bring myself to do it. Part of the reason why it took so long for me to come back is I was just waiting for the motivation to come to edit that video, and I'm officially washing my hands of it Pontius Pilate style, and just saying, nope, it can't be salvaged, it's just a failure of a video. Here are the only funny clips from the video, everything else is just garbage. Nivek Ogre has such a bigger forehead than me, he has so much more room to work with. God, he's better than me in every way. This is what we're kind of starting with, it's adjustable. It looks like shit, I know. It's also canonical that- What the fuck is going on around here? You have got to be fucking me. You have got to be fucking with me right now. This is the cleanest I'm gonna be able to get it. Um, is it perfect? No. Asshole. Goths, if you're seeing this, help. Oh my god, speaking of goths, I'm trying to keep up with the story. First of all, I thought Luna was one person. It's a whole group of these bitches. There's three characters that have the same name. How am I supposed to follow the story? So like the deal with Ghost is that like they're kind of- oh fuck my hair. They're like playing characters and telling a story through their music across albums and shit. They're kind of like a satanic cult parody of the Catholic Church. And I was watching um, footage of one of their live shows. One of the guys was talking and he was like speaking in European accent and I was like that makes sense, like he's imitating the Pope, like he's playing a Pope-like character. Good for him, he nailed the accent. Tell me why I found out that he's literally just European. He wasn't faking the accent. I forgot European people exist. That all being said, for sure the next video I upload is going to be Kitchen Princess Part 2 because I <laughs> I need something to be happy about. If there's anyone who can save me, it's Najiga. Anyway, because of all the stress, I was having a moment of weakness, a, uh, como se dice, lapse in judgment, I guess, and I forgot about my history and thus I was doomed to repeat it. And so I made the rookie error of posting about one of my dreams on TikTok. For those of you who aren't aware of the Trix Rabbit situation, good, keep it that way. And for those of you who are aware of the Trix Rabbit situation, keep your fucking mouths shut. Long story short, I have been burned in the past by making TikToks about what I assumed to be like an innocent, funny dream that I had, and it blew up in my face and ruined my life for a long time. And I vowed that I was never going to do that again. This is the TikTok I posted just a little joke about a, a, an actual dream I had. Almost instantly my comments blew up. This video now has over a million views. I can't sleep at night. Obviously it's an interesting concept and so obviously it caught people's attention, but of the thousands of comments that video now has, at least 70% of them are asking, was death hot? <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna make this video Talking about my dream, explaining it, clear the air, move on, kitchen princess. A lot happened in this dream besides just my interaction with death. In fact, this was just like a little snippet that happened right before I woke up. But what happened was I was standing in my backyard and death walked out of uh, the garage. And I said, oh fuck, <laughs> oh my god. And death responded and I quote, not you, you have 64,000 hours left. And then walked right past me. As she walked past, I vividly remember saying, you look good and her responding, thanks. And then that was it and I woke up. <laughs> so here's just a rapid fire of questions people had about the dream. One, a lot of people were surprised that I described death as she. In my dream, death was a woman and I found out from the comment section that that's actually very common in a lot of cultures and different languages, death is fem- a lot of cultures, instead of like a male grim reaper, have a goddess of the underworld or death or whatever. So it's actually not uncommon for death to be a woman. <laughs> you better stop! Like I said, the majority of the comments were people desperately begging me to know if death was hot. So I'm going to give a description of death, but before that I just want to say 
you people are so horny it's embarrassing. Uh, like, I feel like I should have to go to confession for you. First the tricks rabbit shit, now this. Come on, it's my subconscious, stop objectifying it. Anyway, in my dream death looked like the typical Grim Reaper, like big black cloak. I couldn't see her face, it was all shadows. She had, um, I think like pale skeletal hands. I don't know if there was like any skin on them, but I could see the bones. A very significant detail of this version of death was that she had a hole in her cloak for her cleavage. I kid you not, that's what my version of death looked like. I don't know what that says about my subconscious, but I guess the canonical answer to is death hot is yes, she was fucking banging. The second most common question I got was people asking what did her voice sound like. More specifically, did she have a sexy voice? It's times like this that I wish horny jail was a real thing. I wish that wasn't a meme. I wish I had a place where I could send people like you. You disgust me. You embarrass me. Anyway, to answer that question, I personally didn't find Death's voice sexy um, because she had my voice. Death spoke to me in my voice. There are some very unpleasant implications to that that I am not going to be unpacking. Finally, people were stunned by the number of hours she gave me. Please don't fall. Fuck me. I promise this isn't me symbolically disavowing Black Lives Matter. I just don't have any tape that works. I'm using painter's tape. This looks like shit. <laughs> So yeah, people were surprised by the time limit that death gave me of 64,000 hours, which translates to approximately 7.3 years. Some people said, like, that's a good amount of time. Um, I don't know how to react because I don't think I have much fucking say in it. <laughs> but hands down, the comments that struck me the most were the ones, like, the- wait, I need to quote exactly here. Someone commented and said, I need you to never change your username so I can come back in 7.3 years. I'm invested. Literally made a note on my phone. This cop- Cut the cameras. This has got to be the most twisted comment I have ever received in my life. It's also just- It's also just the fact that all of the replies to this comment are like, Can you tag me when this happens? Remind me, please. Yeah, can you remind me too? I'm also invested. You people are twisted. You set an alarm for my death. <laughs> I mean, like truly, something that I don't talk about enough that I should talk about more is how grateful I am for my audience. Um, the fact that people want to subscribe to my channel and listen to me talk, not for an ARG, not for Daisy Brown, not for whatever, but just for me. Um, that means the world to me and I don't tell you guys that enough. I also don't talk nearly enough about how proud I am that I have cultivated an audience on the internet of people who aren't like sycophantic stands or like doxing bullies or people who just blindly agree with and support everything I do because that's toxic and that's never been the kind of audience that I want to have. On the flip side, I have cultivated an audience of people who are actively counting down the days until my death. So I mean, you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, this was just a quick little update video on where I've been, uh, letting you guys know I'll be back. Thank you so much for being so patient with me while I've been gone. I truly do love and appreciate you guys so much, even though you're all horny and insane. Subscribe if you want to, don't if you don't, and I'll see you next time I upload. Bye!